Cool. Hello, everyone. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. OK. Uh, I will going to talk about uh, one prototype uh, of a backup system for the EOS Home. Uh, this, is, this prototype is under evaluation right now. Uh, this is our current setup. So we have in the, in the EOS Home is the backend for our Servbox. And currently, we have uh, yeah, 16,000 users, uh, more than 50, 100 million files, and three petabytes of logical space. And our current system um, works in, um, based on uh, scripts that run on a cron job every day. They do the work, but the problem is when we want to restore uh, files, because the process is really tedious. So the user needs, if the user wants uh, to restore a file, needs to uh, contact us via ticket, and we do need to do a lot of manual uh, work to get the file there. So this is why we are evaluating all the solutions so we can improve the system. For this prototype, I, we are using this. Uh, this is an open source uh, tool, which is called Restic. Uh, it's really nice. I recommend it to you if you want to use it for your personal backups. Uh, this is a small tool. It's made in Go, so it's really fast. It's also secure. Uh, all the backups are encrypted. And this is very easy to use. Uh, it's only just one binary. And uh, also, you don't need to have uh, any, any configuration file at all. So you can just pass all the, the necessary arguments uh, directly to the, to the binary. Um, it's based on a repository, so it's something like uh, you can say some, something like Git. So I mean, you have to initialize your repository, and then you can just push the backups to it, and also, of course, uh, retrieve the restores from it. It's also by, based in the snapshots, so you can every every backup that you do is a new snapshot on the on the repo. It works with multiple backends. So for this particular uh, prototype, we are using S3, uh, our uh, CERN S3 implementation. Uh, but it, this could be also applicable for other backends, not a problem. So see, uh, in the bottom, you see some uh, usage samples of the, of the tool. You see, this, I think that the comments are not needed at all because it's really easy to understand what it does. This is the architecture that we are evaluating. So the idea is, is very simple. It's just to back up the things directly from few six months to S3. Uh, in, the, in the S3 part, we have uh, one repository per user. So each user in server will have a, 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 its own repository in S3 and also correspond with a bucket on S3. So this way we isolate the backup from, the, from one user from the others. So I think that is convenient also very easy for the operation of the repo. So the, in the center, you see this is the, the, um, the, main, oh, sorry, the main component of the, of the system. This is just a, a RESTIC uh, backup agent that in reality is just a wrapper. It's just a, a typical wrapper, so it's a script that does some preparation and then sends the correct uh, arguments to Restic to do the, the proper backup. For example, this preparation could be selecting the user that, uh, the, that will be backed up, uh, checking the repository. The repository, if, if not, it doesn't exist, for example, because it's a new user, the repository will be created. If, if this already uh, is not, the repository will check if the repository is okay. And uh, it also, for example, will select the path to do the backup, which is the path. Then we call RESTIC with, the, with arguments, and also we will take care about the result of the, of the backup. So if the backup went well or went bad, and also we try to collect some information about the, about the process. The, this, these components are uh, stateless, so you can have as many of them as you want. And uh, the second component is this uh, centralized database. Sorry, OK. And uh, the idea of this database is just tracking the status of the backup of each user. So it's very simple database. Just uh, you, you have one row per user, and you get uh, user A. The, the current status of the backup is is uh, running, or is failed, or is completed. And it's just to 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 have the current status of the backup. It's not any historical uh, database. It's just the current status. So how the how the thing works? Well, the idea is just start all of this. This will go to this database. This will query. Each one will query for the users that are, that are ready to backup or pending to backup. This could be um, new users in the system with no backup or, or uh, existing users but with no recent backup. So you decide, uh, we define for some that you want, uh, uh, you, have a, you want to have a backup every 24 hours. So if there is any, if there is any user that with no backup in the last 24 hours, then could be selected for the, for the job. Um, of course, one, once uh, the, the, the agent picks the user, it will do the, all the preparation, it will launch the backup, and also it will wait to restrict to, to end to see uh, the result. If there is any, if all went well, 
it will collect some some metrics, some stats of the backup. If there is any any problem, it will try to uh, get information about which was the, the error. So having this here uh, makes sense to have some kind of web, or web interface so we can visualize better the status of the of the backup. So for that, there is this this dashboard. So the, the idea is just to visualize the table, basically. So then here you can have the the, the username and uh, well, this this is the status of the backup. Then you get some information about the the when when it started, when finished, the duration. Zero minutes means less than a minute. Uh, here is information about the agent. So we, which was the agent that took the this job? This is the host name and also the PID. And as here also you have the, well, this is not implemented yet, but well, the idea is to have the number of snapshots that are in the, the repository for each user. Here, the, this is some more extra information about the, the backup itself. So here you see this is how the, the, these three pairs represents the files and directories that are new in that backup, the, the files and directories that changed, and the files and directories that, uh, was, uh, that were unchanged during the backup. And this is the amount of data that was added to the, to the repo. So this is for visualizing the status, but you can also do some because you have access to the database. So we can also use, we can also do some management, for example, enabling or disabling users or even instance if we want. What about the restore? Well, this prototype doesn't cover the restore yet because first we, we are evaluating if we can do the backup. So, but in, but with resting you have. The, the restore process is very flex flexible. You can restore uh, a full. You can do a full restore, a typical full restore. You can restore a, a snapshot to somewhere. You can also restore uh, a specific files or directories inside the snapshot, so you can just get only the, the 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 data that you need. And the third one is my favorite one. You can mount the repository as a fuse mount, so you can browse your different snapshots in a nice way, well, in a file system we, way. And I also you can copy, you can cut. This is only a read-only access for these views. And also, well, all information about the repo can be extracted using JSON uh, format. So I think that makes sense to integrate or, or could be possible to integrate these restore procedures into end-user tools, like, for example, having a specific part in the server's <coughs> web in which you can request one file to be restored. For example, or, or or even expose this this mount this mount thing to the to the users, so the user can browse their its backups. Just a conclusion. Well, this is still a, a work in progress prototype. To be honest, we are not sure if we can make it this working because, of course, we need to backup a lot of things. And uh, for now, we did some initial tests, which are not. Uh, too bad, I think. So we managed to back up uh, 200 accounts, so it's in the order of 5 million files in one hour, using a modest uh, setup with three VMs and nine backup agents. But uh, <coughs> we need more than that if we want to make it working. We need at least three times that uh, performance. But we also have some uh, room for improvement. First, because